Welcome back. We're back in the asylum for chapter 5. And yes, this is chapter 5. The mansion was still chapter 4, but when we came here, a new chapter started. But like I said, you would only know that if you save your game. And we found this weird contraption on the roof with this ball that seems to be locked by these pins and this has something to do with that. We have a bunch of controls here. We can rotate this, whatever that is. We can flip this switch which unlocks or locks, inversely, the um, three pins that correspond to the positions of the three balls on the end of whatever this is. You can see the fourth pin over here does not have one, so that one does not get affected. And finally, if you just do some stuff, the chain resets the puzzle. It is pretty easy to overcomplicate this puzzle, in my opinion. Um, trying to look for a way to do this. Well, in fact, all you need to do is just do it once on every position and everything will work out. So, let's do that. We'll start with the empty part at the top. And that got all of them. Aha. Which dropped the ball and apparently unlocked the gate. That is one weird locking mechanism. But at least it lets us get inside. As Max walks down the stairs at three frames per second. Um. Oh my god. It looks like a slaughterhouse. Oh, damn! Here, let me help you. God, such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, I used to botch my lab tests constantly, but I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max, and you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Oh, come on. We still have a lot of work to do. <sighs> Keep seeing things. Hmm. It seems like the guy who hired him at Mercy is was also his professor at some point. And, um... I guess this is the representation of that lab they were working in. But it does not quite look the same now, does it? I, at least I expect that when he was at university, his lab didn't have any dismembered corpses in it. Oh god. It's terrible. Yuck! Who would butcher these people like this? This seems like a weird thing to find in a sanitarium. Even one as messed up as this one. Who would butcher these people like this? I wonder if this is Dr. Morgan's doing. If so, we definitely need to find a way out of here. Hmm. Looks like there's some stuff on the desk that we can read, maybe? The local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here at the asylum. To ensure that my research continues unabated, I must rewrite the locking code for the back lab and move the subject's bodies down to the crematorium before the sheriff arrives for an inspection. The chalkboards must also be washed clean, for they contain the encrypted codes... Hey, Dr. Morgan, uh, you know, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? 
That's the third time this week. But I mean, I mean, maybe... Spare me your insight. You're pathetic. A man cannot vanish into... Both of you. Get this wretch out of here. He's too damn old for my purposes. As for our missing patient, I'll find him myself. Yeah, but what about this stuff? Uh, shouldn't we ought to clean up here? I mean, before the inspection, I mean... I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. Or listen to, as the case may be. That sounds like it confirms that Dr. Morgan is behind all of this. It also sounds like they're looking for me. And if I have actually been vanishing, does that mean that those experiences with Sarah and the circus and the mansion were real? Did I actually go somewhere? It can only mean one thing. Aliens. Probably not, but, you know. The chalkboard has for a Nope, that's just, uh... Wait. The local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here. The chalkboards must also ask for a... That is just the one message, right? The local authorities are becoming the chalk as for a... Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Is there anything you can read on here? I guess not. Um, this guy's just in a cage over here. Oh, God. It's terrible. Not from here. There's a door back there. Stupid, stupid. Which I guess he can't open. Although that's not how I react to locked doors. There's some kind of electronic security system on this door. And, um, I guess we need a code. Damn! This must be the door whose code he decided to change, apparently. And according to the message, the key to those, um, to the code was on the blackboards. I guess he didn't get around to erasing those because they're looking for me. So we should probably check out the blackboards and see what we can make of it. You know, I doubt I could just walk around in this place without, you know, throwing up at some point. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I stand at a crossroads. Shall I venture forth to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh? Or turn back in fear of what I may find? At times I feel as though the weight of the world rests upon my weary shoulders. Lacking any sense of direction, I have blindly followed in the footsteps of those who walked before me. Valiant, though my intentions may have been, I was powerless to stem the tide of insanity that washed against the shores of the asylum. Although conventional medicine has yielded a few encouraging results, I see no indication that an answer will be found using those methods. The time for conservative medicine has passed, and a new approach is necessary. Outside of the mainstream, with scalpel in hand and hope in my heart. I now prepare to tread upon the virgin soil of the mind. No longer bound by the archaic standards of traditional medicine, I feel reborn. Yeah, why would you be wa want to be bound by archaic standards of safety and scientific rigor? I have a feeling this guy in Cave Johnson would get along swimmingly. But apparently there is a message hidden in here somewhere. And, um, it's actually easier to find than you'd think, because, yeah, your cursor changes <laughs> on certain letters. Namely, most of the capitals, not all of the I's. I think the I's that are not part, not the first letter of a sentence are not included. But yeah, you just have to click those to bring them down. They get written down there. And it's kind of annoying because it's very easy to miss one. Lacking... 
Valiant. Although... The... Outside... No. Alright, that seems to be all of them. I hope. And now we have uh, a word, I guess, of sort. I sell the tongue. It's either a language um, I don't know or I need to rearrange these letters. And um, in this particular case, it's not too hard to see what the answer should be since it's almost in the correct order. We are looking for salvation. I guess in more ways than one. Aha! Uh -huh. All the blackboards work the same, um, and I think I can click on the letters while he is still reading them, so I will try to do that so I don't have to go over the message twice. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. Experiments 1 and 2 were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. The loss of a few lives is negligible when compared to the benefits that a cure may bring. Obviously, I was in air when I thought the root of insanity grew from the brain itself. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? There are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient, else all could be lost in a reckless pursuit for the solution. Alright, I guess he's trying to cure insanity by messing with the brain. Seems like an easy thing to do. And, um, somehow Max has split the letters into two groups, revealing that we need, in fact, uh, to find two words. How he knew that um, is anybody's guess. And, yes, the first word has three letters and the second word has five, but, um, the first word does not consist of these three letters. You can still take them from other places as well. And I mean, it, with these letters, it stands to reason the first word is going to be a V. And I guess youth? Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, that's not too bad. One more blackboard to go. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the fortress of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually, it must rest, and when it does, I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the sane tissue from the insane. 
Alright. I don't think badness is an infection. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I mean, other than a doctor of philosophy. But, uh, I'm definitely not a medical doctor. But I still don't think that's the way that, that works. It's kind of weird to use your blackboard like a journal. Like that. I guess he did it partially to hide the reminder to his uh, code, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of funny. These, these, uh... Blackboard journal entries sort of read between a like a cross between Atrus's scientific style and Aknar's complete insanity. <laughs> All right, uh, looks like we have uh, three words here, and this one is a little bit more complicated, especially because the three words don't really form like a phrase that you would say. They're just three loose words. And you'd be tempting to think that this would be the again, because you can make that, but that is not uh, the case. In fact, what we are looking for is Key hides and two. Uh -huh. At least he tells you when you're right, so you will eventually stumble on the answer. All right, so that gives us um, three phrases, Key Hides 2, The Youth, and Salvation. And if we go to the lock again, which I guess is speech-driven, hopefully it has no um, voice recognition, we can pick all of these words, and what we need to do is enter them into an order that makes at least some kind of sense. I don't think Salvation, the Youth, Key Heights 2 is what, what we need. Um, the Salvation, Key Heights to Youth, no. What we're looking for is, in fact, Youth, youth. Heights, hides the Key to salvation. Youth hides the key to salvation. That did it. I guess that's what he was talking about with the the key to the cure, whatever he's looking for, being in younger patients. Hmm. Does that have anything to do with Sarah telling us that we're trying to help children? One wonders. This must be confusing to you, even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm 
down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. No! The only good bug is a dead one. Okay. I guess we found uh, Dr. Morgan's baby collection. And as he started to experiment on us, we now ended up here in what the loading screen called The Hive, which is Chapter 6. And uh, if you thought turning into hey, Sarah... I've got four thumbs to twiddle. If you think turning into Sarah was uh, weird, then... Boy, <laughs> does it get weirder from here on. We are now some kind of weird cyclops with four arms. And goat legs or something. Can't look at myself to comment on it, unfortunately. What that has to do with anything, I guess we'll have to find out. But wait a second, isn't this the doll that Sarah saw in... Uh, in Max's room in the mansion, he also had a poster of him, and he was reading a comic book of him. Interesting. This puts me back into the, this is probably fake category. Unless some kind of supernatural thing is making us see these things. It's also possible, I guess. Never know in these kinds of stories. How could she even move her sickeningly bloated? Fuck. Um, she? What is this? Is this actually a creature? I guess so, because it seems to be laying eggs over here. Gross. Ah, a heap of disgusting insect eggs. Seems like we also, um, killed some kind of creature. Hmm. This thing has some kind of mechanical harness. I'm uh, deliberately not getting that yet. This building appears to have served some special function. Is that a building? I can barely tell with all this stuff. Is this part of the creature? Like, it seems like that's blinking or something. Let's see. Warning. Attempted breach of security barrier by unidentified me. Okay, I guess we can't go there. There's some kind of barrier in the way. So maybe we should check out that harness that this thing is wearing. Wearing, wearing this harness, perhaps they'll think I'm one of them. It's worth a try. Or at least our security system might think so. ID confirmed. Drone guard class, sector seven. Proceed. Well, that was easy. You know, I really like this guy. ID confirmed. Oh. Drone guard class, sector seven. Proceed. Didn't mean to do that. Um, the reason I like this guy is he's the fastest of all the characters. <laughs> um, just some bugs flying around. What's this? Drone guard class not permitted within the Queen's chamber. Entry denied. Grap. Alright, so this is some kind of weird... Insect hive. I, is this the Queen? She seems to be inside that chamber then, I guess. Um... Whatever it is, it's disgusting. This building appears to have served some special function. Alright, I guess that's the same building that we saw from up there. Let's see if we can go into it. What's that? Oh. Okay, that appears to have opened the door. Um... What? 
The insect is performing a grotesque experiment, putting bits of machinery into the child. Um, hey, that's not a bug, that's whatever we are. A handsome young Cyclops. I hope he can help me. I wonder what he's doing here. By the makers! Grimwall! You're Grimwall! But what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on the large one, just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Gromna built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Graven. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Grenasser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Okay, I guess we have Amnesia again. But we are Grimwall, which is in fact also the name that you could see on that comic that Max was reading. And um, the bugs apparently are blind, which explains why this harness thing is working. This monster is also half machine. Weird. Who are you? Tick tock. Cyberhead technician. What is your function? To integrate cybernetic enhancements to the flesh. And they're doing it to some kind of. Well, the head looks human, I guess. Don't know about the rest of it. Who designed these robotics? Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Um. You delay in your response. I am busy. Return when you can produce the proper authorization. I guess we need the upgrade to be able to get into the. Queen's Chamber. But even their security is not that stupid, I guess. This all counts as the same creature to talk to. An insectoid pincher. The edges are sharp. Could come in handy, I guess. All right, well, we'll have to find out what's going on here in the next video.